on the outside is JK. Oh, we've got one upside down. We've got one upside down. Scott, can it won't be good enough. And Brock Eckert is the Australian champion by two car lengths. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian Junior Sedan title proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Havens won a race earlier on tonight. So too did uh, Artie Jonick. They won heats eight and nine. They're both in this particular event. Harry Ross, not yet to win an event, but he's been prominent. Stand by for heat 11. For Pepsi Max, it's all go. Daniel Johnson got the best of the start as they moved down the main straight the first time. Jake Warren's there in second place. And also going well is Wayne Firmston. Harry Ross coming through into fourth as they moved down the back straight the, for the first time. And uh, also up there is Jake Havens. And another one in there is Eric Wallace. They move out of uh, Pitts Bend the first time. All well, contact here for third and fourth. They're getting hooked up. Harry Ross and Wayne Firmston. They're five or nearly five wide down here in the main straight. Artie Johnny got a great run on the outside. And Jake Havens got a good split through on the inside. Harry Ross went into third while all of that was happening. And uh, bloating down the race there. They split the scene. He's got a mile out in front after two laps. It's Daniel Johnson, the race leader. Second place is Warren. Then back in third is the 18 of Harry Ross from Victoria. Adi Jonick from Queensland. Back then to the West Australian, Jake Havens and Wayne Firmston. Uh, further back, Cooper Gregg, um, who also won a heat race earlier on tonight. He's uh, not going all that well. He's going back through the field. It's Johnson out in front. Second place, Warren Jonick and uh, Harry Ross, one of those two, either Jonick or Ross just got the inquiry flag. Back then to Jake Havens, uh, Jonick into third, Ross back to fourth, Havens is fifth, then Firmston Barton, uh, back then to Shannon Marston's back in eighth, and Eric Wallace, and got a me mechanical defect flag also being prepared, it may be for uh, Cooper Gregg, but he's out of noise anyway, and he's going to the infield. It's a great old race uh, for the minor placings, Jake Warren for Victoria is in second, Artie Johnny third and back then to Harry Ross and not far behind is Jake Havens, that's second through fifth. Uh, Daniel Johnson is home and hoes with uh, three to go. He has a mortgage on the race, 2.3 seconds. Artie Johnick up on the inside, goes into second place and uh, Jake Warren goes back to third. Harry Ross is fourth. Uh, fifth place is Jake Havens, a big gap back to sixth, which is Wayne Firmson. The rest of them spread out like Brown's cows. Johnson is the race leader with two to go. It was 2.3 seconds. It's down to 2.1 because Artie Johnnick has done the quick lap of the race. It's a staggering 18.384. We did get one in the 17s, I know, earlier on. Uh, Ross on the outside of Warren. That's the third and fourth. Back to Jake Havens. White flag comes out, one to go. Uh, Johnson is uh, going to win this one. Johnnick second. Oh, uh, Jake Havens hits the fence here in the front straight. Bounces off of it. Uh, he's well clear in fifth place. But has lost a lot of ground to third and fourth. Uh, so move out of turns three and four the last time. Put your hands together. Daniel Johnson from Queensland wins heat number 11. Left from start to finish. Johnnick second. Third place will be Harry Ross. Back in fourth is uh, Jake Warren. Jake Havens is fifth. Wayne Firmston will come across the line in sixth. Shannon Marsden seventh. Eighth place to the 42 of Eric Wallace. Uh, Tyler Barton is ninth. And number 98, another heat race winner. We had four heat race winners in that race, and none of them actually won it. Uh, Zoe Young was 10th, and Cooper Gregg was 11th. Ashley Hardy didn't start. 2.29.326 was the time. 1.44 or 1.454 was the margin, and the quick lap of the race was an 18.155 by Artie Jonick. Yeah, well.